Hey Tuck followers, Keith here. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Bowl & Branch mattress. Now Bowl & Branch is known for making very high quality bedding, but this is their first foray into mattresses. How does it stack up to Tuck's test? Keep watching to find out. Testing the mattress today, we have Lightweight sleeper Rachel, average weight sleeper Zach, and heavyweight sleeper Alandris. The Bowlin Branch mattress is a 13 and a half inch latex hybrid bed. The cover is made from a mix of cotton and polyester. The comfort layers consist of two and a half inches of wool poly blend, over one inch of graphite infused latex, over one inch of tallow latex, over one inch of pocketed mini coils. The support core consists of eight inches of individually pocketed coils. The Bolin branch falls at about a six out of 10 on the firmness scale, making it a medium firm mattress. The Bolin Branch is a particularly responsive hybrid mattress. You will get a little bit of that conforming from the latex and the wool poly blend, but it's going to be a lot less than all foam mattresses. Therefore, it's gonna feel more like you're sleeping on than in the bed. To measure support, we look at the spinal alignment of each of our sleepers when sleeping on their side. We found that spines stayed aligned and all three of our sleeper weights felt quite supported on the Bolin branch. To illustrate motion isolation, we put a water glass on one side of the mattress and have our heavyweight sleeper, Alandris, move around the opposite side. As you can see, the water glass is moving around a bit as Alandris moves and pushes against the bed. It's to be expected with a responsive mattress that there'll be a little bit of motion transfer, but overall, the bed performed well. Edge support refers to how much a mattress pushes back or holds a sleeper up when sitting on or sleeping close to the edge. All three of our sleepers felt quite well supported both sitting on and sleeping close to the edge of the bed. This is in large part due to the lower gauge coils surrounding the perimeter of the bed, helping to really reinforce it. Using our 2D and 3D pressure mapping tools, we're able to tell just how much pressure the bowl and branch mattress is able to relieve from a sleeper's body. Looking at our readings, all three of our sleepers received adequate pressure relief from the bowl and branch mattress. That said, our average weight sleeper received more pressure relief than our light and heavyweight sleepers. You'll notice that with our lightweight sleeper, there's a little bit of pressure on the shoulders and hips when sleeping on her side. And our heavyweight sleeper experienced some pressure on his shoulders when sleeping on his side. Now we'll take a look at temperature neutrality. We found that the Bowen Branch mattress regulates temperature quite well. The mix of latex, that wool poly layer, and the individually pocketed coils helps to encourage airflow throughout the night. Now, let's check in with our sleepers. Alandris, what did you think of the Bowen Branch mattress? I enjoyed this bed, Keith. It was nice and cushy, but not too cushy. I really liked it. I think it was an overall great mattress. It supported me in all the right ways. Um, just really felt nice. I like this mattress a lot. I thought it was sort of the Goldilocks zone of mattresses. People that like it more firm could probably appreciate it. People that like it a little softer can too. Which position felt most comfortable? Side. Sleeping on my back felt doable also. I'm a side sleeper and I felt really supported on that, but I also did really like how I felt on my back as well. Back sleeper, so gotta go with the back. Now, how about getting in and out? 
I love the height. Bad knees or bad back or hips. Slide right out, hit the floor, gone. Now what about sleeping close to the edge? Do you feel supported? Another highlight, yes. Very supported on the edge. I thought it was fine. Um, you know, a decent amount of edge support. I didn't feel like I was going to roll off, so I really liked that. I feel like I got pretty darn close to the edge. I felt supported, so I think it's pretty good. How about temperature neutrality? Did this thing heat up at night? If I had to choose anything that I didn't like about it, it did get a little warm. I thought it was great. I think the wool layer really helped with that. I think the layer of wool that's on top, naturally breathable, keeps it warm when you need to be, cool when you need to be. I think that really went a long way. What about motion isolation? Did that glass move around? The glass didn't. The glass, it held up perfectly. But uh, when we did our team sleep, I did feel some motion there. I thought it did OK. It's a little bouncy, but it's still really comfortable. So I don't know how much I would be disturbed by my partner getting in and out of bed. That's sort of where one of the shortcomings of the mattress itself. I guess that latex layer adds to a little bit of the bounce. Compared to others, this was definitely more conforming for my body. Being a side sleeper, this was really, really comfortable. I really liked it. I think it was a bit more comfortable. I mean, it did have some bounce, but not too much. It, it felt a little bit more plush on top, and I think that's also the layer of wool that's on top of latex, which I really appreciated, actually. Well, thanks so much. Thank you. Now let's take a look at how the Bowling Branch mattress stacked up in our tests. The Bowling Branch is a responsive latex hybrid. It will conform to the sleeper a little bit, but it will also recover very quickly. It's a mix of sleeping on and in a bed. Support was very good for all three sleeper weights. Motion isolation was good and edge support was very good. Pressure relief was good for light and heavyweight sleepers and very good for average weight sleepers. Lastly, temperature neutrality was very good. Here are a few takeaways based on our mattress testing. The Bowling Branch mattress comes in one firmness option. If you know you want a particularly firm or soft bed, you're gonna to wanna to look elsewhere. This bed is a luxury mattress and comes with that price tag. If you're on a budget, this will probably break it. This is a very responsive, bouncy mattress. So if you know you like to sleep in versus on a bed, and you care about a lot of motion isolation, you might need to look elsewhere. Here are a few recommendations based on our mattress testing. If you're a particularly eco-conscious sleeper, this might be a great bed for you. Back and stomach sleepers will appreciate the firmness and feel of this mattress. Those who have a hard time getting in and out of bed, so folks that really need strong edge support, will appreciate that feature of the mattress. Hot sleepers will appreciate this mattress as we found that it stays quite temperature neutral throughout the night. Here's some additional information you'll want to know before purchasing the Bowling Branch mattress. It comes with a 100 night sleep trial, free white glove delivery and shipping as this mattress is not compressed in a box and comes with a 10 year warranty. For up to date pricing and exclusive discounts for Tuck followers, check the description below the video or visit the full written review on tuck.com. Thanks for watching our Bowl and Branch mattress review. Please like the video and subscribe to our channel if you found this helpful. Don't forget to check us out on social. We're on Facebook, Twitter. We're always doing great giveaways and keeping you up to date on the latest sleep news. Sleep well.